Hi everyone. Today I'm going to walk you through um, four methods for defining supports for Pyramid 3D models. Um, in our definition, which you can find in the manual, we have a basic setup of a um, deformed cylinder shaped like form. And then we feed the mesh into the mesh to shell component with an arbitrary cross section with the height of 20 centimeters. Define the support, the load, and assemble the model and analyze it. For the first method, we use the points from the mesh to shell component, which then get split up into XYZ coordinates. And you can define simple values or a domain in which the value should lie. And this cluster um, only takes the overlap of these three domains and returns the points. So right now we have a set value of zero, so it only takes the points close to zero. If we add the x domain, um, you can see it only takes the point at zero, um, set value zero. And in the defined x direction, and now if we, do, we also um, set the y value, um, it also gets narrowed down a little bit more and the points in this domain, in this resulting domain, um, get returned and we can use them as an input for our, for our uh, support component. If I change now this to from zero to, let's say, five, you can see more points will be added. Okay, the next method is um, inside or near a box or a B-Web. So we have this box here defined um, before. And what the tolerance slider does is it also allows to add points to the list, which are like one unit away from the box. So like this point is there because of this value. If I change this to zero, only points really inside the box um, will be chosen. The next me method would be the points closer, closer to a curve. So we have this curve here, which is part of the previous um, construction of the mesh. And just like the other two um, clusters, the points closest to the curve get chosen as support points. The last one is the close to a surface. So we have a surface defined here. And this cluster um, evaluates the points from the mesh to shell component and returns just those within the tolerance close to the to the surface, or if we turn this down to zero, points that are really on the surface. Yeah, you can find those tools in the Caramba 3D tab under tools. And the definition, as I mentioned earlier, is available from our homepage. Yeah, I think that's it. And to visualize these supports, there is an earlier video where I describe how to get this tab um, visible in Karamba 3D. And there is the render view component where you can render loads, supports, reactions, and joints. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.